My egg is cut off. All that matters is what was in the shot, right? Sometimes cuter than a naked dog. Holy dead dog. I got a baby! Oh. Did it happen again? It was 11 o'clock and I didn't vlog today. Oh. I was sitting in the car and I'm like, I haven't vlogged all day today and it's like 11 o'clock. What am I gonna do? So I was like, maybe I should tell a story. I'm like, what the heck am I gonna tell? The, I don't have any good stories. So I realized we haven't told how we got Ola. So here's gonna be a pretty like mellow down version of how we got Lola. As fast as you know, I don't wanna. I could probably explain this in like four hours if I really want to, but let's kinda cut it down to four minutes or three at least. Alright, so in 2010, Mom's friend, she had two weird dogs, that'd be Lola and Lola's sister. Well, they, um, they were, um, they were trained, they were potty trained in different places. So, Lola's sister was potty trained in the trailer house, or Lola was, Lola was potty trained, um, on a big yard like ours and everything. So, when Lola went to the trailer house, she was used to the small yard and everything and being kept in the house all day so she actually peed and pooed all over the place you know she kind of but anyways they were kind of debating about getting rid of her and they, had, they asked mom and if mom wanted her and we're like well mom has dad and dad's like oh another dog you know and Maisie and she's she's Maisie she's, she's a drama queen that Maisie dog so we thought about it and came to the conclusion we'll try it. We wanted to see her, so we went and saw her. And we took her home that night. And we decided, well, if it doesn't work out, we'll take her back, you know. So we told them that and so we left with her. And, <laughs> and we had, we brought Maisie because we weren't sure if Maisie's gonna like her. But her and Maisie got along pretty good right off the bat. So that night Lola wanted to live with mom and dad and stuff. You know, she'd been used to sleeping in bed with people and whatever. But mom and dad had Maisie in their bed and they didn't want her dog in their bed. Hey, you better be present for this. So they threw her in my bed and she was like all about it. Well, she wasn't like all about it, but I was all about having a dog in my bed and I was like, yay, finally. Hey, right, you better be present for this first and then do it. So anyways, um, so she, she was left in bed with me, and I was up to like five, so like, I was, she was like whining and crying, so I was like cuddling with her, and trying to keep her calm, and so she got really attached to me. This is how attached she got to me. So the next day, I had to clean the house, so um, I could go to the movies, my, my reward was to go to one of the toilet movies. So. I cleaned, I like power cleaned the house and I was always doing that. Lola would not leave me alone. So like I did the dishes and she said this is behind me. I, I like vacuumed, vacuumed the like, couches and everything. And she was like standing there the whole time I was doing that. She went to the bathroom a couple times in the house and I'm like, oh, Lola. So we let her, I let her out a few times. That whole day. Seriously. So, I um, she's like brave. So, so she was like super attached to me. So I got all the stuff, all the stuff done, and I, and me and mom left for the movie. Well, <laughs> we come back, and Dad Curtis is like, something's wrong with this dog. She was howling the whole time you guys were gone. She was missing me. That's what was going on. She was missing me, and because she got attached to me, because she was like, the, was like the first person. She like spent a bunch of time with and everything. So she was like all attached to me. So, um. When I got back, she got so happy, she peed all over Kurt's bed because she was so happy. And so, for like, so, we fell in love with her and we got her potty trained and everything. And she went camp, the first night she went camp was 4th of July weekend. And she got into, I think she got into a bunch of trouble. And she got into trouble. We had to hold you down at the pump and... I wrapped you up in a towel like a baby and held you like a baby the first time. 
So, yeah. Well, the rest of that is history. I love this puppy. She's all like, <laughs> she's so crowned in there. Mm. I'll put you away. Alrighty, so that's the story of how we got me. Oh, we got Lola. Sorry about how we got Maisie, maybe next time. But that was the story of how we got Lola. So I hope you enjoyed and it was kind of interesting. It's about, yeah, I didn't want to drag it on too long. So peace, love, and happiness, and I'll see you tomorrow. What? 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 Ah!